All right, hello my friends and welcome back. My name is Sunny and today we're hopping back into Kingdoms and Castles. In the previous episode, we finished getting our little farm area here set up with all the bakeries and the granary and we also got another little orchard set up here. And in today's episode, what I would like to do is get our industry expanded down this direction and we'll also work on closing it in with another wall I believe we've got plenty of resources so we should be able to do that no problem before we hop into it I want to go ahead and take a moment and let you know that I do have a discord channel and you can find a link for that in the description below also if you like the video be sure to leave a like it helps us out it helps us grow as a community because this video will get seen by more people and that would just be awesome let's go ahead and find some thing to do here all right so we've got a ton of coal and by a ton of coal i mean like almost 5k coal so we maybe don't need all of these coal like charcoal makers but or i guess it's charcoal not coal um but that means we could be selling a whole bunch of it. And for some reason we don't have any over here. Uh okay. Let's look let's try and get like 500 stored here. Oh, it's got no workers. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and not worry about selling anything because he only he's only giving one for each of these, so not a big deal. Um, I don't think we need to buy anything really either. We're negative on the food right now. I mean, I guess I could buy some food. Sure, let's buy that and let's buy this fish. And now we're a little on the low side for the money, so let's go ahead and sell that. All right, that gets us a little caught up. Okay, so let's see what we got to do. All right, so 25 people just joined, which is good. That puts us at 1,053 people and 1,056 beds, which means we're going to need some more housing. Let's see, how many people do we need to fill all of our jobs? We need 31, 34, something like... 41 more people so we need to get some more beds on top of getting more beds we also need to expand this area so i'm not too sure where we're gonna put more housing because we don't want to put housing near this stuff what i could do is i guess clear out this section down here right here with these trees and I could go ahead and build let's go ahead and just clear this out I mean, I'm gonna have to clear it out anyway so might as well do that and that's gonna cause a whole bunch of jobs to be not filled but that's okay um, so we'll take care of these trees and then once we've got the trees taken care of I'll go ahead and expand the road down here and we can maybe squeeze in I don't know a couple more farms I don't know if we really need more farms. I'll probably just do housing down here. And I'll try and get it maybe to like this line here. So let's actually go ahead and have our people cut the line out. Uh, let me grab our troops here so I can go kill these wolves. Get over here, men. Kill the wolves. Before they eat our peasants trying to chop down trees. Okay, so. Once we're done with that. We'll work on the wall. And I'd like to just go ahead and maybe connect it to this wall here. I of course do want to go ahead and like. I'm not sure if I want to take it all the way around, per se, because, I don't know, I think it'd look a little funny if we, I mean, I could, I guess, build docks, 
But here's another thing too, right? Like the uh, the fish here could be utilized. We could build a bunch of fishing docks over here. Like kind of space them out. That might not be a horrible idea. Okay, let's get you back over this direction, sir. Go stand in a doorway. Protect the... Protect the castle. Okay, so we'll tell them to recuperate, actually. I don't know. Oh, they go all the way back. They gotta go back to base. Oh, we got something on fire. It's a disaster. It's okay. They'll, uh, they'll put it out. Luckily, I think I have a couple of wells over here, so... Ah. No big deal at all. Actually, where are our wells? I wonder if I should turn off a couple of these charcoal makers for the time being. Like, let's close a couple of these. That'll help open up some jobs. On top of that, we have, you know, over 5k charcoal stored. Or nearly 5k charcoal stored. I don't think that's totally necessary. So we just freed up some jobs, which will help a little bit. We have literally one bed left available, so let's go ahead and grab our road. And let's... Okay, so that's a bit of a problem. We'll get a, get a pier. And let's go ahead and kind of bridge the gap here, I guess, if we can. Uh, actually, I don't want to do that. I just wanted this... I don't know if I want to do this at all, actually. I want to get this lined up, but I guess it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it not being a perfect square will probably make it look a little better. Or a perfect rectangle, rather. Alright, so there we go. And then we'll just build this straight across here. I don't know, to like, let's go right there. Alright, so we also have some stone down here that we can utilize. Let's go ahead and get a rock removal for that wolf's den. And let's command our dudes to gather all these trees. Okay, while they're doing that, let's also go ahead and get ourselves another large stockpile. We'll just put it on the other side of... Let's get two of them. Put it on the other side here, because those are nearly full. Okay, so how are we doing on food? Minus 174. That's insane. Are we making food? Okay, we're making food from the bakeries, but not very much. Not too sure why we're not making very much. I mean, we have a decent amount of farms. What I do need to do is maybe get some farms up here. Or, not get farms up here. We obviously have farms up here, but I need to get bakeries up here. Could squeeze one in right there. We've got one here. I mean, I don't know. I could clear all of this out and... Get rid of that forester. I don't know. I'll think about that. Not too sure what I want to do as far as that goes. Okay, so let's grab our road. And we need... Let's go ahead and plot this out real quick. So, let's say we do manners down here. And we do one with a gap in the middle so there we go and then we do a tavern right here on the corner so let's do a tavern just like that and then let's say we leave a one a space let's leave two spaces we'll put the manners back to back and then we'll go all the way across here just like that and let's go ahead and grab our rock removal and get rid of these dens 
Okay, we got a couple of trees here that are being pesky. Being a nuisance. Not a surprise. We've ran into a few problems with trees on our journey. I'll tell you what, our people do not like cutting down trees. I don't know if they're just like, in general, tree huggers or what the deal is, but I'll tell them to chop something down and they'll just be like, nope, not going to do it. Sorry, guy. And yeah, it's horrible. It might be because the trees aren't fully matured or something, but it is quite annoying. Okay, so there's a ton of wood everywhere. And you know, like we're getting to the point where nearly this entire area is colonized. So very soon it might be, uh, might have to start looking into starting a new run. I am planning on doing a modded playthrough, so keep your eye out for that. That might be happening soon. Since we are, you know, getting pretty close to achieving our goals with this playthrough. Um, I think we can do one. I could do one here, I suppose. Or, I don't know. I could do some cottages there let's actually run a road straight through here just like that in front of the tavern there I don't know what we'll put in that little gap and we're gonna run a road straight through here all right so there's a couple more houses I know one thing we'll definitely need is going to be a well, we have that fountain right there which should be fine because it's got a pretty large radius yep they're included in that, so that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and get, get a secondary church down here. I mean, that would make these people happy. You know, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get another church down here. And we're going to need a town square. And I'm thinking, unfortunately, that does not line up. Um... I mean, I could put it... I really wish this thing was... a different number of blocks. Okay, what do you got? You're uh, buying... or let's sell you some... wood. Let's sell you some stone. And let's sell you... What, what's the point in selling you four charcoal? Alright, we'll sell that. And we will go ahead and buy food, since we are apparently on the struggle bus as far as food goes. Uh, this is the cheapest, so we'll go ahead and purchase that. And, yep, that's all good. Alright, so now we have some more beds, which is a, definitely a good thing. And we're getting all this stuff constructed. I'm trying to figure out what exactly it is that I want to do next down here. Um... Could go ahead and start lining this place with blacksmiths and stuff. Because that's something that we're uh, going to have to do. Need more blacksmiths. Um, I mean, I could get one. I want to kind of... Let's do them right here. Two. And... Maybe just two. And then why don't we get some more swine? actually. Let's go ahead and get some more pigs. Little piggies. Um, so I was actually having this thought. Let me see. Where is the door to this thing? I guess right there. Okay, so is there an opening for people to get into it? Let's go look at the one that we have. Ooh. I swear I can control the camera. Okay, we got one over here. All right, so how do they get in? Okay, that's how they get in. There's an opening in the back here. All right, so I need the back to be open. That's unfortunate because I had this really neat idea of like putting the butcher because the butcher walks in like this, right? So if I put... It looks so weird if there's a gap in between it. But I could put like a butcher in between two swine 
farms, swine herds, like that. But I don't know if they will actually fit inside or if it will, you know, end up not being able to function. If it'll if it'll work, I think that'll look really, really good. So let's uh go ahead and build it and see what happens. Alright, so we've got some stone down here. Let's actually get some rock removal. Which is right here, and let's start clearing out all this unnecessary rock. And we will get mines placed on that. Um Alright. We got some more people, which is good. I mean, I'm just creating more and more jobs, so we'll uh, hopefully be okay. We got, we have zero iron because I'm, let's move that up on the list. Miners. Oh no. Okay. Um, let's put it above librarians. But we want the bakers above that, and we want the granary workers above that. And then we want the windmill workers just below granary workers. So we're not going to have any fish coming in, but at least we will have... should have most everything else. Alright, so we've got quite a few beds. Let's go ahead and continue expanding down here let's get a fire brigade down here because i think that it might be a little necessary um let's yeah we can face it like that and then let's also i just thought about this a little library might be helpful we'll just do a little line of like necessary stuff for these people down here may also want to do a bathhouse down here because I'm going to fill this area down at the bottom here with mostly housing so um, I'm trying to figure out well, we've got castle blocks I'm not too worried about any of that the town square might be something that I should look into I guess I could put it right here well is that town square up there hitting us Let's click on it and find out. No, it is not. A festival. Um, okay. I'm not going to do that. I didn't even know you could pay to do a festival. I wonder if that would help with happiness. Okay. Well, we'll get <laughs> we'll get another uh town square and on the other side of that, let's get another hospital. Just like, uh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Just like that, and let's go ahead and get a market area set up as well. So, the entrance, I don't know how these things are supposed to be placed. To be totally honest with you guys, I think that this is the ideal way to do it. So I could place one there, and I've enjoyed... Placing small market stands just outside. So, what if I did one like that, then another one like that, and then did the same thing on this side? Alright, let's see how that looks. And then I'm going to put a manor in the middle here. And we'll... Put some manners back here. They're going to be a little cramped, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get a cottage just to break up the overall monotony. Let's get a couple right there. And then we'll go ahead and get a well placed down. Um, I don't know where the door to... Well, do we need a... Yeah, let's get a well right here. That's a good spot. Just to cover down here, because I don't think that... yet. Yeah, I mean, it kind of reaches, but not quite. And this well will encompass more of the area. 
Okay, so the butcher looks like it will function. Oh, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Hard to tell. We don't have anybody working there, so... Can't actually tell you whether or not that's going to work the way I want it to. That's okay, though. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this road finished out. Now that all the stuff is out of the way, except for that one pesky tree. I think that's my fault, though. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get another manor right here. And we could go ahead and do a road straight through. Only issue with that is this weird... Okay, I think that'll look a little bit better. I hate how they do circles. Whenever I do my modded playthrough, I am definitely going to do pretty roads so that we are not stuck with these weird circular things. Alright, how are we doing on food? Plus 146. Fantastic. Alright, so now that we're doing good on food and we're gonna about to have a ton of housing, um, we're on year 170 with 1,122 people. I mean, this is definitely been quite the playthrough. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right here. We'll finish up this area in the next episode and start expanding downward. I'll probably cut it off. Let's go ahead and just mark the cutoff point so that I don't forget. Go ahead and cut it off right there at that line. I'll put as many housing or houses and stuff as I can. And... Yeah, this is looking really good. So if you've enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of uh, our kingdom as we're approaching. I, I think we're nearing the end of the series. Let, let me know what you think. We still have all this land over here to fill up, but I don't know. I feel like uh, I'm pretty proud of the way that this one's turned out, and I don't want to do too much more with it. So, if you're ready to see a modded playthrough, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to catch more Kingdoms and Castles. You can see the episodes right here on the channel, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget there is also a Discord. You can check the link for that down in the description below. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you in the next episode.